Let me present to you the world's hottest pepper, Carolina Reaper. How hard is Carolina Reaper? If I had to describe, it's eyes rolling to the back of your head hot. That's how hot it is. Carolina Reaper's range from 1,400,000 Scoville heat units to 2,200,000. And that top end is just as hot or even hotter than standard pepper spray I carry in my purse. And comparing it to a jalapeno is just silly. Even the hottest jalapeno will come in at around 175 times weaker than the mildest Carolina Reaper. So who discovered the Carolina Reaper? It was the man called Smoking Ed Curie, or Curry, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name right. He is the grower of the super hot chili. His Pucker Butt Pepper Company, which is based in South Carolina, developed the Reaper as a hybrid of Red Habanero strain and Nigel Viper Pepper which is another pepper that was once the hottest pepper in the world. He was seeking to develop a sweet pepper with a little more punch, but what he got was a record-breaking hot pepper. What was interesting for me is Ed Curie's pepper growing career, which has an amazing backstory. He began growing peppers because of his interest in the health benefits of hot peppers, especially in combating diseases. His family had a history of cancer, and to be as preventative as possible, he began researching communities with low levels of disease. And he noted that there was something in common among these communities. Hot peppers were a staple of their diets. And this had sparked a passion that led to something very special. So Ed has often donated his chili peppers for cancer research. Last year I was growing ghost peppers, which are on the fifth place, I believe now. They used to take the first place before. Anyway, it was so hot, I've tried ghost pepper raw and I told myself I'm not going to experiment like that anymore. So I've decided to make hot chili oil with this Carolina Reaper. I like to add chili oil to my dishes to make them taste better. So I think just one of these peppers will make a jar of oil. And I like to add sesame oil as well because I'm a fan of this Trader Joe's hot chili oil which is with sesame and it tastes so good. So I've decided to replicate it at home and I think this Carolina Reaper is a perfect pepper for this mission because you don't have to add a ton of peppers, just one would be enough. I hope it turns out the same way as my favorite Trader Joe's sesame oil. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.